Hi friends, I'm Bryony and I have a question for you. Did you know that there is treasure in your recycling bin? No, I don't mean golden coins. I mean something like this. I'm going to show you how to turn something like this into something like this. Oh, hey Scribble. Oh, she's excited to be here. This is Scribble. She's a jellyfish. And by the end of this video, you're going to know how to make your very own underwater friend. Want to know how I made her? Yeah, come on Scribble. So here's what you'll need. Some plastic for tentacles, some string, two bottle lids for eyes, plastic lid from something. I got mine from a cake I ate this week, a black sharpie, some scissors and masking tape. First, we're going to make the eyes for the jellyfish. So take a black sharpie and draw them in. Then grab your body and stick them on with some masking tape. Now it's time to add some tentacles. I chopped up heaps of plastic already, stuff I found at home like bubble wrap and plastic bags. They're in nice long strips to make the tentacles. Then you stick them on the inside of the body with masking tape. Now, I know we're making a jellyfish, but your creature can be anything you imagine. It could be a mermaid, a dolphin, a turtle, or a crab. It all depends on what you have in your recycling bin. Now the final touch is to add a bit of string to the top here so you can um, let it dangle like a puppet. So let's do that. And it can float around just like a jellyfish does in the sea. So good. So, if you have some cool lights at home like I do, maybe you can make it glow from the inside. Now that you've made your jellyfish friend, we're going to do a story writing exercise that shows you how to make a short film about it. So, what does a story need? Hmm. One, a character. Here we go. Two, a setting. This is where your story will take place. So on some paper, I want you to write down some ideas for where your story might happen. Maybe 10. Then grab a bowl or a hat and fold up all your ideas and put them inside. Three, events. This is the fun bit. On some paper, brainstorm at least 10 ideas of some stuff that might happen to your character in the story. Then, you know the drill, fold them all up and put them in a different bowl. Now grab your setting bowl and pick one out at random. A jungle. Then get your events bowl and take two events out. There's an earthquake, all right. It starts raining grapes. Okay. Now, a story comes in three parts. The beginning. This is where you set up the world. You let the audience know what it looks like and feels like. Maybe give your jellyfish a name. Here's what I wrote. Scribble the jellyfish lived in a magical tropical jungle filled with wild green plants. It was hot all year round, just the way she liked it, and it smelt like bubble gum and chocolate. Then comes the middle. This is where you're going to use those events you picked out. One quiet morning, Scribble was fast asleep. Suddenly there was a huge earthquake. It rumbled all through the jungle and the sky started to rain grapes. And now, the end. How's this all going to resolve? Oh no, there was nowhere to go. Scared, she hid under her tree. 
when the rain finally stopped, Scribble came out and ate one of the grapes on the ground. It was delicious! She ate and ate and ate. If you ever decide to visit Scribble's jungle, beware of the morning earthquakes. But stick around for breakfast. Grapes are on the menu. Now that you've written your story, it's time to make a film of it. So grab your camera, get your props and see what you can make. Here's mine. had as much fun as Scribble and I have and now you know just how easy it is to turn your trash into treasure. Oh, yes Scribble that's you your treasure. Oh, she's saying I'm treasure too. Oh, thank you. All right guys see you later.